Hey, how you guys doing today? We'll come with another video. It's autotips.ca. Uh, today we're going to be talking about uh, the P0442, which is uh, EVAP uh, small leak. So we're going to discuss what the P044 uh, code is and how you can fix it. Uh, it could be uh, an easy fix or it could be a little bit more complicated, but we're going to check the easiest way how you can approach it and in most cases it's more uh, like a small leak somewhere um, on the EVAP system so we're gonna discuss all that but first is first I want to give a shout out to all of my sponsors I uh, really appreciate you guys please check the sponsors as well uh, they're helping for this channel to be continuing to give you guys information and uh, all tips on all uh, and all the repairs. Uh, we want to make sure you save money. Uh, so we try to give you guys as much knowledge as possible on the EVOP system. So let's do this. So the car we're going to be working on, it's a, a 2007 Honda Odyssey. Uh, but pretty much all the systems are uh, the same thing. Even if it's a, a newer model or an older model, the EVAP, uh, it doesn't really change. It still have the same controls and still have the same sensors. Uh, usually the EVAP starts with the gas cap and it goes down to the fuel neck, the fuel tank, the canister. Uh, so we're gonna show you guys all that, how we function and stuff like that. So let's do this. So on this car, the check engine light, this is the most popular check engine light always comes. Um, so we're gonna discuss that, but today we're gonna uh, mostly focus on the uh, P0442. So that's the code that we're gonna look at because usually if the check engine light is flushing, then you know the issues are a little bit deeper, then you have a misfire or uh, some of the cylinders are not functioning properly. But when you have a check engine light and it just staying on and the car seems to be functioning properly, uh, that's what the, we're gonna be discussing. It's called it P0442 and it's most popular with cars. Um, so just because the check engine light, um, just because the car is functioning properly doesn't mean there's no problem. When you get the P0442, uh, usually, you have to start with your gas cap. So what happened here is you look at your gas cap here. So you, the gas cap it has this o-ring here. It could be a wrong gas cap too if somebody replaced it before and it's not sealing properly. So the first thing you have to do is look at your gas cap and where the gas cap sits. So down here, if you got a bunch of rust, that means the O-ring is not going to seal properly. So you got to make sure this is, this is nicely. Close. So the scenarios that we're looking at is the gas cup. And then when you come down here, So if you look down here, this is uh, call it the vent solenoid here. So what it does is, um, like usually with the gasoline, once you shut the car off, there's a lot of vapor which is not burned yet. So all this vapor does not burn, it cannot be sent up to the, to the atmosphere, so it has to be kept into small tank. The, that small tank is called a canister. Uh, so the canister keeps everything there. And what keeps it in there is this purge solenoid. It only opens when the car is running. And then you have the vent solenoid, which closes everything. Unless you got too much pressure, it vents something out. So usually, uh, if this is not functioning properly, if it's leaking all the time, or your gas cap is not tightened properly, 
or if you have a leak into the fuel neck or a gas tank or hoses that run along the, the car from the tank all the way to the engine. If one of those are not uh, properly um, hooked or if they're cracked somehow because they're vacuum lines, that could give you the code uh, P0442. So that's what we're going to be discussing today. Uh, the approach for those is you take your tank and then you can check all these hoses because you got hoses here. So this is one of the hoses that runs all the way down. Then you got another, which is, uh, you got another hose here that runs down. So some of them are like coolant, but you can tell those are the vacuum lines. So that's what we're gonna be looking at. Okay, so we have the canister uh, over here. So that's the little tank that stores all the vapor in there. So let's say you have a leak somewhere here on these o-rings see like if these are loose you have to inspect this so what that code tells you is you got some leak in here so see this one here is just not really sitting properly so usually if you open your gas cap to fill up gas if it doesn't have that sound that comes up you gotta hear that sound when you open a, a pop, you know, where it says Psst, like that. So that, that tells you like the vapor is still staying in the tank. If you're not hearing that, that means the vapor is skipping somewhere through here. This is, and this is running to the environment. So we're not really doing anything uh, nice to the environment. So you gotta make sure you resolve that issue. So you look at these hoses. Cause they're under the car like you know so they dry out the o-rings um, just to kind of show you guys a little opening i'm gonna take these out all right so we open this cover so we can have more uh, space so down here this one here is uh your vent solenoid on this car so most of the vent solenoid is actually they try to sell them together with the canister so you got to make sure you get it right you know because uh, this thing is very expensive you're looking about maybe six seven hundred dollars so always look for any hoses and stuff so if you look over here this hose over here is connected and then we look at this so this is out so a minor issue like that can cause the leak you know so that's like just an easy fix so you got to make sure why this thing popped out I'm gonna try to see if I can put this back together so you're gonna need one of those this is what is supposed to stay here but it's not a stain so this little hose is the one that causing that P0 uh, 442 so I thought I shared this issue with you guys now you don't have to worry about the vapor being going to the environment so we're gonna fix that we're gonna get one of those retainer clips and that should do it you know hopefully you guys learned something today and uh, I'm happy to share that issue with you so we're discussing P0 442 it's a uh, it's actually the explaining for the code is a small vapor leak so that was what it was it was a small so this was just leaking a little bit so we were able to uh, take care of that if you got any comments or if you guys any issues that you want us to discuss on the next video please feel free to uh, get a hold of us on autotips.ca or on our Facebook page, or on all uh, emails too. Until then, peace.